Why is this boy's mum crying? And why will you suffer this exact same fate now unless you do something? This is Mike Mozart of Jeepers Media on YouTube, and this is my second video about SOPA and Protect IP, or PIPA. The two laws that they're trying to pass right now that are going to affect you not only in America, but in the UK, and this video goes out to all my fans in the UK, because the United States government is extraditing one of your college students named Richard O'Dwyer. That's right, because he actually had a website that linked to copyright infringing material. I'm not kidding, he just linked to copyright infringing material. He didn't host any on his website. If you've ever used torrents in the UK and you've shared files online, you can kiss your mom goodbye because the United States government's got a nice cold jail cell waiting for you. That's right, because they're going to extradite you, fly you to the United States, and they're going to imprison you for years. They're going to start doing this to hundreds, thousands of people in the UK. We got prisons we're building here to hold you all. Do you know the United States imprisons a greater proportion of its population than any other country on earth? Do you know that the, the country that imprisons the next greatest proportion is Russia? You know how tough Russia is. We actually imprison 20% more of our population than Russia. We are number one in the world at imprisoning our population. And we want to start imprisoning the UK population. We got to grow those numbers. Look how our numbers have grown in the last few years. Why would our numbers jump so exponentially? Why would our numbers jump so? Does that look like we're becoming a police state? And billionaire Alki David has offered to pay the legal expenses of Richard O'Dwyer once he lands in the United States for the best legal representation money can buy. Mike, in the case of Richard, I will support all legal costs that will uh, bring his case to the forefront to highlight the hypocrisy of big media companies such as CBS who have almost single-handedly created the phenomena of copyright infringement through illegal file sharing. Illegal file sharing is abhorrent. It, it is not acceptable to steal copyrighted material. In the case of Richard, I don't know whether he's guilty or not. The, but the fact that he's being brought to America on extradition for copyright infringement, supported by large media companies who are almost solely responsible for the creation of this phenomena of copyright infringement through illegal file sharing, is disgusting. It is hypocritical and unacceptable. I support Richard in his fight against the big media hypocrisy. Thanks. We're going to make certain that his expenses are paid for the finest legal representation the United States can offer on principle. And what is that principle? This case is going to bring out the fact that the copyright infringement online was caused by the Senate division of CBS. It was caused by NBC. It was caused by ABC distributing the software through ESPN and Go.com, and it was caused only by the big media companies themselves. All right, that's the only place you could get that software. Why did they all distribute that software? Why were they virtually the exclusive distributors of that software, and why did they promote it for copyright infringement? Okay, CBS Television fostered it, encouraged it, and distributed all that file sharing software through a site they own called CNET. CNET has an office in the UK. That's right, one of the largest overseas offices is in the UK. Well, they committed a lot of online piracy. Take a look at these examples here. What? CNET and CBS substantially promoted Pirate Bay? And look at this. Last.fm, a UK company owned by CBS Television in the United States, why did they make a deal with Pirate Bay to distribute their widgets? CBS was very enthusiastic with their deal about Pirate Bay, and CBS made this deal with Pirate Bay immediately after purchasing Last.fm. Immediately! They didn't even wait. Pirate Bay isn't even legal in the United States, and they threw their full support behind it. This is one of the widgets. Are they endorsing Pirate Bay? And oddly enough, CNET division of CBS actually considered Last.fm to be spyware. Were they using these widgets to actually spy on Pirate Bay to take them down? It seems possible, since it was widely reported about that time period, that CBS was turning over user data to the RIAA from Last.fm. Or maybe it was just because CBS was actually distributing and promoting one of their new shows called Pirate Master in 2008. This is reported by Torrent Freak. And they actually had links right to Torrents to download the show. And this is on CBS's own website. 
Of course, this is one of CNET CBS's proud offerings, the Pirate Bay Search Download. This allowed you to actually cruise all the popular sites without actually going there, so you could download tons of pirated media, illegally. They even say that in this download. Of course, it's downloaded right from CNET's own servers. Even though CNET was offering this in 2010, they've taken it down because we squealed. But look how it came up in Google searches. Why did it come up? pirated books downloads if you search pirated books why did it come up pirated movies downloads if you search that their search engine optimization featured the words pirated and pirating of course the cbs cnet staff couldn't write enough glowing articles and reviews about how much they loved pirate bay how much terrific material was there all for the taking Notice the editor's four-star review and the coveted we recommend this add-on to all users Look at this, they, they had LimeWire. Of course, Sumner Redstone had every reason to distribute as much LimeWire as possible, seeing he was profiting from the distribution of LimeWire by selling Viacom's Comedy Central material through LimeWire. Kazaa! 326 million downloads. Morpheus? Over 125 million downloads with the help of all their co-branded partners, Microsoft, AOL Time Warner, BitTorrent? It goes on and on and on. Seen at CBS wanted you to download pirated media so badly, they offered downloads specifically to cover your digital tracks, reviewed by their editors, and distributed through all their co-branded partners. Look at the freaking date this was added to CBS Seen it. And ZapShares was perfect to use if you were using LimeWire to download Lady Gaga songs like the editors showed you in this screen capture. And do you know who heads up that company? Sumner Redstone, one of America's richest men. And you know what you're going to do? If it's okay for the United States government to extradite that poor kid to the United States to stand trial here for something that wasn't illegal there, Sumner Redstone distributed file sharing software to your country.